so today guys we're in Killorn, County Wexford. And it's a beautiful evening. In memory of Archibald Waterstone, who was accidentally drowned during erection of Deeps Bridge on the 11th of March 1914, aged 25 years. So I've never seen a grave like this. It's all built up on cement. I'll try and read what's here. And it says, I think it says, Sir Frederick Hughes. And I think he was born July 1814 and died, um, is it the 18th of November, 1895. And I think on the other side, there's an inscription for his wife. As you can see, it's just all built up and cement with an iron fence around it. But it's very hard to read. Here also rests the remains of Emily, wife of Sir Hughes. And I think she died December 1863. And she was 27 years old. And then also in here, it says Lily Hughes, Martinstown, Killinick, wife of Frederick J.R. Hughes, 1874 to six, 1965, and their daughter Mary Jarlene, 1911 to 2001. And as you can see, the plot is huge. And it's obviously a family plot. Violet T. Hughes, Weston Bon Claudie, daughter of Frederick and Lily Hughes, 1905 to 1991. And her sister Eva, and that's very hard to read. Is it 1964 to 1997? And that's the church, it's the Church of Ireland. So we're going to walk around to the back of the church. And you can see a few more older headstones here. John C. Pemberton. For 30 years, medical officer of Timon and Glynn dispensary districts who died June 19th, 1904. This stone is erected by his sorrowing widow and sons. And this one, as you can see, you can't read any writing at all. 
Wow. And here we have the body of Eleanor Wadding, who died February 6th, 1769. I'm not sure of her age. And I can't read the last part either. As you can see, all the gravestones are on top of each other. And the tombs are very much falling part Thomas Carley who departed this life January the 18th 70 87 age is that 13 years Carley who departed this life July Age 1776, I think it says. Age five months. Mary Carly, who departed this life. May 15th, 1773. Age five years. And also Joseph Carly, June, who departed this life. August the 25th, 1784, aged, I think that says seven months. That's very sad. We have this tomb then that's completely broken down. And here we have another one. Here lies the body of Michael Furlong, who died January the 6th, 1775, aged four years. Wow, that's very sad, very young children. And just to get a, a look at the graveyard itself. I think we'll take a walk over this way now. There's another tomb. age 67 and I'm not sure is that Amelia Franklin alias Barry the grounds of this church are maintained but it's so sad to see tombs and Graves, headstones, broken, <laughs> fallen. But as you can see from the dates, these are very, very old. Dennis Kehoe, Valley Hogue. I think he was. 96 years, died in 1840. Memory of his mother, Margaret Maddock, alias 
Cloney, who departed this life March the 7th, 1819, aged 94 years. Directed by Martin Cogney, in memory of his brothers and sister. John departed September 1824, aged 36. Catherine departed 6th of September, aged 46. Patch departed 1828, aged 44. And Bridget departed. 12th of March. Is it 1802? And right in the corner. We have this structure. But I don't see a name or marker in here. And here's another one with no marker and another one Just can't read those. And another one. There is a few more newer graves John and William Carley, sons of Joseph and Jane Carley, Green Mount, of whom the former departed this life, August 6th, 1855, aged 39 years, and the latter, William, on the 24th of July, 1860, aged 30 years. With brotherly affection, William Carley of Cornwall has caused 
this stone to be erected to the memory of Leonard Carley, who departed the life April the 26th, sorry, 1845, age 49. Beneath our interred the remains, Margaret Carley, late of Cornwall, departed this life on February 19th. And I think that says 1837, age 69. And these are obviously. All Carleys. John Carley, who died the 18th of December 1861, age 62. Now this structure down here is the reason I've brought you to Killorn. It's done an amazing arch, rail gates, a low wall. Here it says, in loving memory of William Bolton Patrick Brandish, Bradish, sorry, of Lonsdale, 1916 to 1996, and his wife Bridget, 1917 to 2012. My eyes to the hills. But when we come in here, we have this beautiful statue. And I'm not sure we can read this. The Reverend Abraham Swan, minister of this parish, parish. Died January 1816, I think it is. And I'm not sure of the age, maybe 64. Unfortunately, she's lost her nose. By the sire of the subscribers, this monument was erected under. Oh. of his friend James Edward Deverell and we have names here no it's actually Faith Hope ah. and Charity and if I just have a look at the walls I hope you can see this, it's quite dark in here now. Maybe that's a bit better. Memory of Weathan Brandish. Fourth son of James Brandish and Henrietta Harvey, his wife born June the 17th, 1868, died July the 4th. Um, 1877. And Elizabeth Mary Brandish, only daughter of the late William Henry Brandish and Jane, where his wife born the 10th, 1822 and died February 1894.
and I think they all have the surname Brandish. 1924 and died in 1918 or maybe is it 1818 maybe and these I just can't read Brandishes on this as well. Died the 8th of January 1861. Catherine. She was the, the wife of the late Reverend Abraham Swain. Right, guys, so that was just a quick little visit up to Cloran. And not a very long vlog. Patrick Walsh. 1825 and I think that is James Lawless 1850 and we just come to the almost back to the entrance again and this is the church And just before we leave you, we have this one erected by Richard Walsh of Ballybawn, in memory of his father John Walsh, who departed life March the 4th, 1838, age 75. His brother Walter Walsh, who departed January the 5th, 1830. And also three of his children who died young. Also his son James, who departed life the 7th of April, 1841, aged 18 years. Also the aforesaid, Richard Walsh, who departed his life May the 24th, 1858, aged 68. His wife, Bridget, who died August the 26th, 1865. And not to forget Jim, Joseph Wadding. 1924, age 79, his wife Mary, who died December 1924, their children Lawrence, who died in 1891, age 2, James, who died April 1891, aged 8, Margaret, 8th of September 1896, aged 20, Bridget, 7th of April 1931, aged 52, Mary Ann Reck, January 1939, aged 61. Anastasia, the 13th of January 1941, aged 48. James, who died the 31st of August 1956, aged 53. Richard, the 21st of January 1965, aged 78. And Mary, who died the 5th of August 1975, aged 91. And she was the, the oldest and of their grandchild, James Joseph Kehoe, who died the 9th of August, 1934. Very sad. Right guys, I'll talk to you soon. God bless, stay safe.